Tēnā koutou katoa. My name is Jono. I'm the tech tutor here at Te Pai Tata. Today I'd like to show you uh, some quick keyboard shortcuts and uh, efficiencies around Microsoft Word and Excel. Today I am doing a live training with people uh, in-house, so if you do hear some background noise, I am communicating with people behind me. And without any further ado, I'm going to jump straight into it. So first thing I've got here, and you should all have in front of you, is this Microsoft Guide. This is a shortcut. So we'll run through this. We're just going to open up Microsoft Word, and we're going to go through these together. What I just need us to do is create a quick uh, text. So and I'm going to make this a bit larger so we can all see it up there. OK. So if you could all please write one line of text for me and follow along with what's happening on screen. So uh, last week we briefly covered some quick mouse commands. So if you'd like to select one word, you can double click on it. If you'd like to select the entire paragraph, you triple click on it. Now triple click will work until there's a full stop or a enter in place. What I mean by that something like that and when I triple click it will select the entire paragraph but not what's below it okay because there's an enter in place so that's the quick mouse we can double click one word triple click an entire paragraph Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to select the entire text and we're just going to use some of these shortcuts here. So Control C is copy and we want to deselect it on a new line. Control V is paste. So that's Control C is copy. Control V is paste. Now if you're using a Apple computer, uh, replace Control with the Apple key or the command key. And all the functionality is the same. So it would be Apple C or Command C. Um, so I'll run through that again. Select Control C. It's copy. On a new line, Control V. Now if you select it, Control C and Control V, you'll see that it hasn't entered a new thing because it's just overwritten the, high, the selected or highlighted text. Okay. And again, Control Z, which is one we're going to get into, is undo. So control V is paste, so sorry, control C is copy, control V is paste, and control Z is undo. Okay? Uh, if you'd like to redo the text, it's control Y. We'll redo the last action. Control Z is undo the last action. Um, some other things that we can also do, control <coughs> Control S is save the document. We don't need to do that. Uh, Control P is print the document. Uh, again, we're not going to do that today. Um, this is another cool one that we went through last week. Control F brings up uh, the find or the navigation text. So if I'm looking for the word uh, awesome, Oh, if I spell awesome correctly, it might help. Okay, then it's found that text. Yeah. Now, this is true for any document, whether it be a PDF, um, a web page, an Excel file. If you're on a web page, uh, which I'll bring one up. Oh, running a bit slow. Uh, and we do control F. Yeah, so uh, I'm just going to bring up a web page. Now, if we want to find a piece of text, we can go Control F. A little uh, box will pop up in the corner. And if I want to find the word book, then it's going to tell me that there's two instances of book on this page, and I can jump between the two. So book facilities, book your prepared space here. Okay? And that's, that's true for all your programs uh, within the computer. Okay, so we can control F 
is that find function really, really useful? Uh, and somebody mentioned last week, uh, control A, which is select all. Now this will select the entire document. Not a line, not a paragraph, but the entire document. Okay. Um, just some more commonly used ones. If you select some text, control B will bold the text. Control I will put it in italics. Control U will underline it. Okay, and if you do control U, it will undo that function. And no matter how many times you push it, all right, you can undo it all just by holding control B, bold. Control B will unbold. Control I, italic, control I, undo italics, underline, undo, underline. Okay, so it'll only work with the selected text. So if you want to make sure that everyone knows Tapaitata is awesome, we're going to underline that and bold it to make sure that it stands out. Did it, everybody got that behind me? Get that behind me? Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, another cool uh, feature of this, and this only works in the desktop version. doesn't work on the online version. Some of the people uh, in the room behind me are working online. That's okay. This particular function isn't going to work, but it will work when you go back to your office and use your own computer. All right. If I do an action, I want to make this bold. And then on this next one, I want to uh, repeat the same action or perform the same action. I can just push F4, all right? And it will do the same thing, F4. So if I take this word and I make it bold, italic, and underline, when I select this word and I push F4, it should. Oh, it's only doing the last function for me on this one. Uh, in Excel, it will do all of them, which we'll get into soon. Okay, so the other quick um, keyboard shortcuts within Word, they also work uh, the same way in Excel. Okay, so if we have some text here, okay, Control B, we'll bold it, I, Control U, same with Control F, find, find the word text. All right, it's going to, uh, I've it's the only word in there, so it's selected it, but if I go fish, cat, dog, okay, and I want it to find the word cat, and I go find next, it will take me straight to that cell. Again, if I want to find the word text, it will take me directly to that cell. If there's more than one instance of the word uh, text, okay, I go find next, it will find the first one, find next, it will take me, if I go find all, then it should tell me down here where each of the word text is. Okay, very useful function, that one. I am racing a bit through this first bit because I'm trying to capture it and keep it all in a short video. Um, so if you're not keeping up behind me, I apologize. You will be able to access this on the video. Uh, and at the end of it, I'll run through it again just so everyone walks away today with a clear understanding of that. Okay. Uh, the very next uh, and last thing that I want to show you guys with um, the keyboard is the shift key. So if I hold shift and push left and right, it will select something. So if I go there and I haven't quite got all the words uh, that I want to highlight, I can hold shift and just push across to the word that I want to use. Okay. Yeah. Um, the other thing I can do is I can hold shift and home and it will take me to the beginning of that line. And I can push up because up just moves wherever the cursor is sitting. Okay, up and down just moves to the line above wherever the cursor is sitting. Or I can hold shift and go page up and it will select all of the content on that page within the paragraph. Page down uh, sort of jumps the whole page while home and end takes you to the beginning and the end of each line. Page up, page down, takes you to the next pages. Okay. Uh, everyone in the room here should have the handout um, beside them that they can take away with them, and it's got all of this included on there. I may even upload it to uh, the web so the people that are viewing online can download that and have access to that as well. The one last uh, little piece of um, quick uh, advice that I'd love to, to give you if you have the Multi keyboard installed, okay, 
if you would like to write uh, sort of words correctly, if you hold the tilde key, which is, um, how can I do this? It's, it's uh, that button there, which you'll find up on the top left hand side of your keyboard underneath the escape key. All right, if you push the, hold the tilde, it's called a tilde, I call it a squiggly line, but if you hold the tilde down and push the word, uh, the, sorry, the letter or the vowel you're looking for, it will put the macron above there for you. Okay, so if you need to spell certain words, um, tilde a, yeah. Oops. Uh, it may not work on the online version, but it definitely works on the, and it worked for you? Yeah, fantastic. Okay. So, A, E, I, O, U. It makes things a lot quicker. You need to have the multi keyboard installed. Okay. So that's what I'm going to uh, wrap up with the video today. I hope it's been beneficial to somebody out there. I hope it helps. If you have any questions, please reach out to us and ask us here. Feel free to review this video over and over again as many times as you like. And I think I will make sure that that document is up there. Uh, so have a look in the description below for the link to download uh, the Microsoft Guide that I've prepared for you today. Uh, tēnā koutou katoa, thank you for your time.